what is up guys it is your boy bugsy and today i'm bringing you a filler episode in between the two video essays that are currently being worked on script has been completed for both of them if you are new and you're like what is going on around here why is there no video essay like i said this is a filler episode we'll be discussing a dragon ball topic and then hopefully in the next one to two weeks we will have a video essay on the way if you're new i'm bugsy pleasure to meet you and today the video will be talking about what are some of dragon ball's biggest problems now the reason why i'm bringing this up is because one as a dragon ball youtuber i have to analyze a lot of characters movies arcs etc but i never really talk about the bigger issues with the dragon ball ip obviously many of you know akira toriyama rest in peace that was my guy and i think that for a lot of dragon ball viewers creators and even people who don't watch dragon ball there is a big problem with the franchise now some of it does have to do with toy animation but some of it does have to do with the fan base and i do have my notepad out and i was sitting here thinking like hmm what are some of the biggest issues that i see with the dragon ball franchise what are some of the problems that can be resolved if certain aspects do get fixed the first thing i have is the lack slash poor use of marketing for some odd reason, toy animation has done a, I would say a lackluster job when it comes down to promotion for Dragon Ball in general. An example being Dragon Ball Daima, the new anime that's supposed to be dropping in fall of 2024. And I believe we've only seen two trailers for it. And the official toy animation Twitter has not promoted it as much as it should. While they are promoting some of the old Dragon Ball Z clips, Dragon Ball Z characters, Dragon Ball Z arcs, and they've been promoting the hell out of One Piece. So I sit here and wonder why are they not promoting Akira Toriyama's last project that he was heavily involved with? Mind you, you have seen the interviews. If you have not, I'll put some links in the description down below where it talks about Akira Toriyama being extremely excited for Dragon Ball Daimba. And this was a project that was worked on for over two years. So do I think that this should be heavily promoted, especially since it's passing on, what was it, March 1st, 2024? Yes, I do. I think that this should be heavily promoted. I think this should be one of the biggest Dragon Ball projects to ever exist. Now, of course, there are people who are not happy with Dragon Ball Daima, and many people are saying, well, where's Dragon Ball Super 2? Where's the Moro arc? Where's the Granola arc? We don't care to see kid uh, characters anymore. Like, this isn't Dragon Ball GT. And again, Dragon Ball GT and Dragon Ball Daima are completely, completely different. I'm expecting Dragon Ball Daima to be more on the level of OG Dragon Ball. And again, I expect Daima to look fantastic. I think the animation is going to be good. I think the story is going to be good. And I think that, you know, one of my biggest complaints with Super was the musical score was just not in the right places during the anime. Whether it was fight scenes, whether it was more laid back scenes, until the Tournament of Power where I guess they had more time and they were able to get things done correctly but I'm really hoping that it's one thing that they fix in Dragon Ball Daima. Now, the second thing, or let me actually continue on about the marketing issue. Let's talk about marketing. When the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie came out, and I'm pretty sure this was the official tickets that were given to people who did obviously pay to go see the movie, the ticket had Gogeta Blue on it. If that is not the biggest spoiler for any movie, especially a Dragon Ball movie, why would you do that? Like to me, that's a very questionable marketing decision that if you want your fan base to be surprised about what is happening, why would you put the most anticipated character on the ticket? You could have put Trunks for all we care, but why would you put Gogeta Blue? Gogeta, who we have not seen since the, since the Janemba movie, you put him front and center on the ticket. Makes no sense whatsoever. Now, my second thing, of Dragon Ball's biggest problem is the lack of communication. I think that a lot of people want just to know what is happening with Dragon Ball. When are we getting Dragon Ball Daimo? What is the specific date? When are we getting Dragon Ball Super Season 2? Will we be will we be getting a moral arc in the anime? Or will we or will they be in a movie? Will we get the moral arc in a movie style? Will we get the granola arc in a movie style? Because at this point, We've been waiting for Ultra Ego, True Ultra Instinct, Super Saiyan Blue Ultra Instinct. We've been waiting for all of these different transformations to be animated for the absolute longest time. Now, shout out to Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. Spark and Zero looks like it's going to be peak cinema, peak gaming. I think that we are back. 
a lot of people are excited for sparking zero and sparking zero is a fantastic example of how marketing should be done we're seeing characters that we love and miss from the budokai tenkaichi series we're seeing super saiyan uh super saiyan vegeto we've seen uh, goku black wait what's his form rosen yeah super saiyan uh rose you know we're seeing uh Yajirobe, we've seen vegeta we've seen mid goku we've seen gotings we've seen trunks like we're seeing all these characters we would love to see and they're getting some of the best marketing that we've ever seen for a dragon ball video game and again i think dragon ball sparking zero is going to be fantastic i think there's going to be a lot of content i think that it's going to make the dragon ball fan base happy especially since it is dropping around the same time as dragon ball daima and most importantly dragon ball sparking or dragon ball sparking zero they're including characters from the dragon ball super anime which a lot of video games have not done excluding you know zamasu and beerus and goku black etc kefla whatever jiren and hit kefla etc um it's time to explore other characters who have not gotten that love that you know maybe someone wants to play that really big scientist during the tournament of powers i can't remember their name is it azula or some some of that it's something like that it's not azula because that's um that's from uh avatar the last airbender but you get the point i think that the lack of communication especially like obviously because a character passed away and we don't have any idea what's going to happen in the manga which i think is perfectly fine um i think uh toy taro definitely needs time to recover and just needs time to kind of figure out what he wants to do with the franchise but at least let us know if we're going to get a granola movie a moral arc movie and honestly i would prefer that i think that the dragon ball movies over the last let's say six years seven years they have been so much better when it comes down to a movie because there's a higher budget and i think the issue with the anime is if they are rushed and they are forced to animate on a weekly basis very similar to what happened with dragon ball super it's not going to be good animation is going to be poor uh osts won't be put in the right location and quite frankly the story just feels rushed so why not give us a movie for the moral arc and even the granola arc now, yes it would be cool to see it on a weekly basis eventually seeing you know ultra ego seeing true ultra instinct seeing black frieza seeing bardock again there's so many things that can be done but it's like do you want to condense or yeah condense all that into a movie format with a higher budget better animation or would you rather it be in an anime where it's done on a weekly basis maybe the animation is not as good as the movie quality which makes sense because it's gonna be a lower budget I don't know let me know in the comments down below would you rather have the moro and granola arc be an anime for dragon ball super season 2 or would you rather it be two separate movies maybe dropping in 2025 and then dropping in 2027 actually that sounds horrific now that i think about it maybe do it in an anime so that we can get all of it within at least a year a year and a half two years the third reason that i think is one of dragon ball's biggest problems is the fan base we always hear the memes about Dragon Ball fans cannot read. We hear the memes about Dragon Ball fans really don't know Dragon Ball. They cannot analyze certain arcs, characters, whatever the case may be. And at this point, I do think some of it is subjective. It's kind of how you interpret the anime itself or the characters. But I do think that it is a problem being the fan base. A lot of fans think that they know what's best for Dragon Ball, which I absolutely hate. And I do think that Team Four Star did a damage on the brand because of all the memes that were put in place and the problem is a lot of people did believe those memes for the longest of time you know the whole thing about piccolo being gohan's dad goku being a terrible father vegeta being a crybaby broly just being kind of stupid like there's so many different memes that have been made over time that it really did tarnish some of these characters and if the fact of the matter is it had done irre irreplaceable damage to these characters and you know you, there's a lot of people that do fan arts and fan fictions and i've seen some horrific fan fictions in the sense that like people want dragon ball to become so violent and i know i said this before in one of my videos about dragon ball not being super violent when dragon ball is violent what i mean is there's a fan fiction or fan art whatever and it shows an adult gohan watching cell completely obliterate baby pan what is wrong with y'all why do y'all want to see little kids get eviscerated in dragon ball now don't get me wrong gohan definitely got his neck snapped by raccoon at the tender age of like six that was kind of effed up I'm not gonna lie to you but to watch a baby pan who cannot fly who cannot fight get a 
absolutely eviscerated so that Gohan can turn into Beast Gohan is a crazy way to handle business. And that's just not what Dragon Ball does. Like, this is not Attack on Titan. This isn't Demon Slayer where within the first five minutes, niggas getting killed left to right. Like, bro, Attack on Titan episode one, season one, bro, first five minutes, people are getting packed up. Aaron Yeager's mom got eight, my nigga. Just mm, delicious. Like, bro, like that's not what Dragon Ball is. That's like waking up frame one and Bardock gets punched through his fucking chest and half his body gets like ripped off his body. That's not what Dragon Ball is. Don't get me wrong. There are some very brutal scenes in Dragon Ball. And, you know, you can go back to OG Dragon Ball where, uh, what was his name? General So literally got blown up by grenade by Goku. Like we've seen people, get, you know, get shot a bunch of times, like launch and Bulma was pulling out the motherfucking Uzis on, you know, uh, on, on Roshi and Krillin and everybody else. Like we have seen violence in Dragon Ball. It, it's a fighting anime. There's going to be violence. But there is a difference between violence and also just like pure gore, like what Attack on Titan is, and even Demon Slayer, and even JJK to some extent. But again, Dragon Ball would never be like super gory and violent. Now, it will be violent. There will be some ass whoopings. Do not get me wrong. But it's not going to be into the level of those three other animes that I mentioned. And another thing I think is an issue with Dragon Ball fans is they don't actually watch the anime in its entirety, and they've only seen shorts or they've seen memes. Again, every example is Team Four Star. Don't get me wrong. They did keep Dragon Ball alive during the time when Dragon Ball was not producing any manga or any anime. But when you are going over a piece of media, adding memes to it, adding your own flair to it, it's not true to the source material. And for people who only seen this on YouTube, they think that this is canon. And if you ask a lot of Dragon Ball fans, a lot of them have not watched OG Dragon Ball. A lot of people have not watched dragon ball z in its entirety they have they have they may have seen the cell saga they may have seen the last like 20 episodes of the boo saga but they've never watched the anime in its entirety and most of the time people watch the anime on tiktok they might have part one to like part 101 of whatever anime it is or most importantly they haven't read the manga and the manga is the true to accurate source material now, again, that's why they said Dragon Ball fans cannot read. And sometimes they cannot read. I cannot lie to you. But I do think that if anime fans, especially Dragon Ball fans, took the time to read, took the time to sit down and really watch the anime for what it is, I don't think it's that bad. And don't get me wrong. Dragon Ball Z has bad pacing. It's not surprising. It's a almost a 30 plus year old anime. It's going to have bad pacing. A lot of animes back in the uh, 90s have very bad pacing. Like, come on now. Like, this is this is given fact. And if you don't like it, watch Dragon Ball Z Kai, where the pacing is significantly better. Now, the dialogue is different. People say that the Kai dialogue is a bit better. I do like the OG, you know, the rustiness and the, the little more like, you know, stick your chest out type B for a Dragon Ball Z dialogue. That's when it comes down to Vegeta. Um, but again, if, if pacing is going to be an issue in older animes, but I do think that fans really didn't sit down and just kind of not dislike Dragon Ball because it's popular to dislike Dragon Ball. And, you know, that's again, that's just the fan base thing. And we know there's plenty of fans who love Dragon Ball, but there are so many people who love to shit talk Dragon Ball when their favorite anime will not exist without Dragon Ball. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is, you know, Dragon Ball as an IP does have its own issues within their doors, whether it's the marketing what's communication whether you know even the video games like yeah dragon ball fighters has been great but dragon ball fighters kind of sold the bag we didn't get any content when it came down to super superhero and you know rollback took so long to get implemented we haven't had any new stages no new characters now xenoverse is getting you know patches of new characters that's kind of cool i guess but you know spark and zero just came out the woodworks and like, okay cool we have a spark and zero game so i think that dragon ball just kind of needs to figure out what it wants to do with the anime and then I think Dragon Ball will continue to be peak because when Dragon Ball does air, it always does well. It always and will always do well. And maybe that's one of the problems with Dragon Ball is that the fans will always carry. And maybe Toy thinks, you know what? If the fans are going to take care of our marketing, we don't need to market. Well, I don't think that's the case because I've heard rumors about how, you know, Akira Toriyama and Toy Animation kind of went at it a little bit. But I really do hope that things do get taken care of when it comes down to Dragon Ball. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this filler episode. Uh, hopefully this kind of lasts for about a week or two. Hopefully this is out and people have a lot of you know respectful conversations in the comment section down below. 
so that when it's time for the next two video essays to drop, they will be dropped. They'll be ready and there'll be content waiting for you. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's me and boy Bugsy. And if you do want to help the channel a little bit more, become a member because it's like what five dollars something cheap. You know what I'm saying? Just like a Twitch sub. Or if you would like to, go to twitch.tv slash Bugsy with two Y's and you can subscribe to me there. I play a lot of Valorant, play some Dragon Ball Fighters, and I'll be just talking. I'm not gonna lie to you, twin. Anyways, I'm out of here, guys. Have a fantastic Monday. Today Monday? No, today's definitely Wednesday. Have a good day. It's me and boy Bugsy. I'm out of here, guys. Peace. And remember, don't get mad and think of the booty.